15 trillion tokens of the finest data that the internet can offer is what we are going to discuss in this video. FineWeb is a new data set or a new data that is over 15 trillion tokens offered by Hugging Face for free with an open license called ODC by 1.0. What is this? I mean, why do we need this? See, very often a lot of AI channels talk about models. I'm not an exception. We also discuss models extensively. Every new model, every new improvement to a model, every model benchmark. This is something that we discuss on and on and again. But one thing that we don't often realize is that for you to build a really effective, really good quality large language model, you need highly effective, highly high quality data set. And that is something that Llama 3 has proven. Llama 3, 8 billion parameter model is much better than a lot of higher sized models. And the reason is a lot of people are speculating it is because they've trained it with 15 trillion tokens, which often people wouldn't do. So there is a chinchilla optimal point and these people like Meta AI has managed to train Llama 3, 8 billion parameter model beyond that optimal point. That means a lot of good data can obviously result in a good model. That's what we have seen. But where do you get that? I mean, you need a data somewhere, right? even if you are going to create your own scraper, own crawler, if you're going to hire a bunch of people, you need data at the end of the day. And there are not a lot of good quality data set available on the internet, mind you. And that is one of the reason why Fee Fee Lee has got a very great place in the AI world for specifically for computer vision because of the first ImageNet data set. The same way Hugging Face has very recently released at probably a few hours ago, a new data set called FineWeb, which is a data set with over 15 trillion tokens of cleaned and deduplicated English web data from common crawl. Common crawl, you know, collects this data and then keeps it. But for you to enable that data, that large amount of data available for you to train a large language model is what fine web is doing for you. So this is probably the finest web data that you can use to build a large language model. And how am I saying that? That is because there are certain benchmarks that are available for anything like to do with data and fine web is better than the predecessors that we have had. Like for example, Falcon refined web, that is what they wanted to replicate, but they have built something that is better than Falcon refined web. And they've got better than pile, better than slim red pajama, sorry, uh, slim pajama. Uh, the, I think it's from the together company. So they have applied additional filtering because you know, when you get chunk of data, it could be junk, chunk of data, it could be junk. So you need to make sure that it's not only, you know, a lot of token, but it is valuable, good token that can add signal to the model, not necessarily create crap. So what they have built is something truly amazing, which is fine web over 15 trillion tokens. And it is released under ODC. I think ODC is like open data, something, something by 1.0 license, which lets you use this data set even for commercial purposes. I go, I hope that is right, but I'll link it in the YouTube description for you to check out the license yourself. And so for my initial question at the start of the video, if you have got millions of dollars, you have got enough compute, maybe Jensen Huang is your friend. That means you can use this data set. You can take any of the current open model architecture that is available and you can hire a bunch of, let's say ML scientists or ML engineers and you would be able to build a high quality model thanks to this fine web data set. And what they have released along with that is they have also released the scripts that you would need to process this data set. See, it's a huge, it's not a, it's not a child's play. It's a huge amount of data set and that data that they have released here, you can see that it is huge amount of data and that they have released here. You need to use a lot of scripts to process it. And this is all in parquet format. So all of these parquet files, like you could have seen like the amount of files that you saw multiple 
two gigs of file. So for you to process the parquet file, they have given you the code, the script that you can use uh, to read the parquet file and then, you know, just display the file and whatever you want to do, you can do that. You can also use it with Hugging Faces datasets, a library. It is as simple as import from datasets, import load dataset, mention the dataset, specify the folder name and then just get that. There are a lot of information about what is the time period and what kind of data you would want. And you can see the amount of tokens. This is based on GPT-2 tokenizer, I guess. So GPT tokens, this is in billions. That's how it becomes more than 15 trillion. And you can see the size 432 GB, 650 GB, 578 GB. Um, this is huge. This is, uh, this is, um, this is insanely huge. And in a bunch of benchmarks that they ran, you can see the black color line find web does better than in terms of aggregate score other than when you compare it with other prominent data sets that are available. I think the pile is from Illuthre, I guess probably slim pajama if i remember correctly could be from together refine web is from falcon i guess like if you still remember falcon model c4 dolma i'm not sure from whom it is but um, uh, it 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 looks really good and it has scored really better than the other data set that is available but so one you have got a lot of data two you are doing better in the score that um, you know you have got in in terms of uh, ablation study which is something that people do to say that okay if i add this extra thing to this model process does it improve the model performance or not so based on the ablation study that they have done they have managed to uh, figure out these benchmarks and they aggregated it and then they got a better result and you can go see like what kind of information is available here so for example you can go see here this is a text the text comes from this url and uh, when was it created and what basic information about that entire thing so this is this is basically the most important thing that you need like so, so if you have got like a system that can process 45 trillion is it trillion tb terabytes terabytes yeah not trillion sorry 45 terabytes of data that has got over 15 trillion tokens probably you can build your own llama 3 uh, except like you need a lot of compute like mark zuckerberg but this can definitely fuel a lot of research in open models that can potentially challenge like world class uh, state of the art models. But either way, I think this is a huge impressive effort from Hugging Face. I wanted to make this video to let you know about this. And uh, if you were to use this data set, feel free to use this data set and also make sure you like the data set. See you in another video. Happy prompting.